but this time the impact was even larger. This blackout wasn't just a failure of technology, it was a warning sign that the entire system was dangerously fragile. But the worst part? This was just the beginning. By the following day, Tuesday, July 31st, 2012, India's power crisis had grown into something far worse. Just as the country was struggling to recover from the massive blackout in the north, another failure struck. This time, it wasn't just one grid that went down, it was three. At around 1 p.m., the northern grid collapsed again, but this time it pulled down the eastern and northeastern grids with it. The chain reaction was immediate and brutal. More than half of the country was now without power. From Punjab in the northwest to West Bengal in the east, the outage stretched across 20 states and union territories. Over 600 million people were affected, nearly half of India's total population. It became the largest blackout in world history. The cause wasn't a mystery. Experts had already warned that the grids were being pushed too hard, 